Now before we proceed, later to the quest you will need some sort of dragon fire protection. You can either A. Bring a vial of super anti-fire or B. Bring a combination of a regular anti-fire and a regular dragon fire shield. Now if you don't have the regular anti-fire available to you, perhaps you're an Iron Man without the herb lore level, then do bring the anti-fire shield with some extra food. Now don't worry, I will let you know when the time comes to bank for said extra food. To begin the quest, head to the museum located here on the map. Head down the stairs. And enter the door behind the staircase. Speak to Mr. Mordat the dragon and choose the chat options on screen. Read the book he gives you and continue the conversation. And choose the chat options on screen. You can now exit the building. Now just like in the quest of A Tale of Two Cats, you have to find Bob the Cat using the Cat Speak amulet. Simply click on the whiskers and to find the pointing location of Bob. He cycles through certain locations, so I can't help you. So go ahead and pause and continue once you found him. Once you find him, speak to him and choose the chat options on screen. Next, head to Umfirth's house, just east of the Berthop Lodestone. Speak to him and choose the chat options on screen. Next, go ahead and search these specific items in the house. Also, I suggest reading the chat log as it's pretty funny. Once inside the library, search the desk in the center of the room. Then search the weapon rack just to the north and choose the first chat option to obtain some iron oxide. Use your iron oxide on your emerald. You will now have an animate rock scroll. Go ahead and read said scroll just to your south beside the statue. And speak to Hannibus. Choose the chat options on screen. Next, search bookcases to your east until you find a book on the Dragonkin language. Next, head to the western side and you'll find a book on the young Robert. Scroll through all the pages. Then find one on the flight of the dragonkin. Make sure to also flip through the pages. And lastly, look at the map just behind Hannibus. Next, head to Sears Village to this exact location on the map. Stand right beside the mysterious statue and click on the animate rock scroll. And choose the chat options on screen. You will now have to rotate a few other statues. For the next one, Head just northwest of the Crown de Lodestone, located here on the map. Just like the other statue, use the Animate Rock Scroll and choose the chat options on screen. For the third statue, head just north of the RD Lodestone. 
use the rock scroll, and choose the chat options on screen. Head just east of the Ardi Monastery. Use the Animate Rock Scroll and choose the chat options on screen. Now carefully go through the chat options as once you have clicked on the second one, you will get a prompt to give you bonus experience in any skill. And for the last statue, head just northwest of Entrana. And of course you can take any weapons or armor. So I suggest just creating a very quick preset, banking everything, then going to the statue. That way you could just load it up later. Use the animate rock scroll and choose the chat options on screen. For this next part, we'll actually need to enter the wilderness, more specifically the Fornity Dungeon. Now in this clip, I actually withdrew my items, you do not need to do this, simply carry nothing. But if you have the Wilderness Level Sword 2 at the very least, you can teleport using that weapon. Once in, head to the east into the Green Dragons, you should get a prompt and click yes. Now in case you don't get this prompt, you'll have to walk out, walk back in, and you should have the prompt. You will now receive a cutscene. After the cutscene, head southeast to a specific area as shown here. Go ahead and choose the second chat option. Study the nearby rock. Now this is the part where you need your anti-fire protection. You will now have to make your way into the Brimhaven dungeon where you find the iron and steel dragons. There's multiple ways to get there, so this is your call. Just note, if you use the Dragon Trinket, you will receive a prompt upon entrance. If you accidentally click out, then simply walk out of the room, then walk in. Be on your toes, as an Iron Dragon will instantly attack you. Your task now is to slay three individual Iron Dragons. After every dragon slay, your character will automatically talk to Hannibus. You can choose any chat option you wish. Again, do this three times. Once that's complete, head to the western wall about the center and you will find some dragonkin writing. Go ahead and examine that. Head to the area located here on the map. Head to the entrance of the Queen Black Dragon, and on your way there, of course, you could use the shortcut. Investigate the summoning portal. Don't worry, this is a safe area as it's specifically an instance for the quest. Speak to Hannibus and choose the chat options on screen. To proceed, head to the area located here on the map. Alright, so this is the second time we need those anti-fire potions or 
shield food combo, as I mentioned before. Next, head northeast and speak to the ghost captain to enter Dragontooth Island. And enter the mysterious dungeon. After the conversation, you will see a Hannibus progress bar. Your task now is to fight a dragon. Now you don't have to slay it, you just have to maintain and tank for 2 minutes. Once that's complete, continue the conversation. Next head to the entrance of the King Black Dragon. Now before you head there, since the bank is close by, I suggest restocking on food as you will have to fight some dragon hunters. Once all geared up, head to the King Black Dragon entrance, activate the artifact and choose the first chat option for both prompts. This will be a safe instance so don't worry. Speak to the King Black Dragon and choose the first chat option. You will now find yourself near the Dragonkin Laboratory. Don't worry, this is also a safe area. Once you're all geared up and ready, enter the mysterious entrance. And speak to the White Dragon. Choose the first chat option for both prompts. After the conversation, some dragon hunters will appear. Slay three of them. You will now receive a lengthy cutscene. In the event that you log out or teleport away, head southwest of Dienenheim to this area on the map to get back to Kiripak. Speak to Kiripak and choose the chat options on screen. Head into the northern room and speak to Kiripak. Choose a second chat option. In this room, collect 25 energies and funnel them into the cage. Now before you proceed, if you don't have any food with you, I suggest you get a few pieces and then come back and speak to Kirapak as you will have to fight one last pretty strong enemy. If you're prepared, speak to Kirapak and choose the first chat option. Go ahead and slay the Echo of Jazz. It uses magic, so simply use Protect from Magic.
Once Lean, speak to the echo. Once you're back speaking to Kiripak, go ahead and choose the chat options on screen. Quest complete.